We are back here on Sportsline. Phone line still open, 737-7767. We go to line one. Say hello to Eric. Eric, thanks for waiting through the break. You're up on Sportsline. Hey, Steve. How you doing this evening? Good. Thanks for the call. It's, it's, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Before we get to what I wanted to say, I just wanted to hope you and your family have a great uh, Labor Day holiday uh, weekend. Thanks. You too. Yeah, uh, a couple of things. First of all, just a comment about Brett Kerr. You know, as a Titans fan, of course, hate to see him go. But, uh, of course, he got a shot with several other different teams. It'd be wild if he did wind up going to the Bills because I've heard, of course, that's where he's from. And uh, yeah. he goes up there and uh, winds up with another former tag, Roger Saffold, the possibility of going to the Super Bowl. But I've also heard other rumors that are possibly going to the Broncos. Another rumor, too. Of course, I'd hate to see it, but he could wind up with the Colts, which... Uh, you, you hate to see that, but of course it's the NFL, so I'd be happy for him. But the main thing I wanted to talk about, you mentioned it kind of was Malik Willis, but actually the quarterback situation with the Titans, of course, you've got Tan Tannehill, of course, the entrenched starter, and of course Malik Willis as a backup, but of course it's been the talk, and of course they'll have to make a decision about tomorrow whether or not they're going to keep three quarterbacks or two quarterbacks. I've heard reports that there's talk that they could probably release uh Logan Woodside, which would surprise me, or maybe try and bring him back on the practice squad, but he may not be available. And just from what you're sensing and what you're getting from John Robinson, do you think they're going to go with three quarterbacks, or do you think they will just try and go with two quarterbacks and maybe use uh, the what would have been the third quarterback position for another position? Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. It's good to talk to you, Steve. You take care and have a great evening. Thanks, Eric. You too. If it's me, I'm just keeping the two. I don't think there's a need to have a third quarterback. You only get 53 guys. You only get 46 active on game day. It just doesn't seem to make sense to have three quarterbacks on your roster at this point. And I think Malik Willis can do everything that the Titans need. First and foremost, if Ryan Tannehill goes down, the Titans season is in trouble. Ryan Tannehill is the best quarterback on this team. He gives them the best chance to win, especially win big in the division or advance in the playoffs. Malik Willis may be able to develop into that down the road. But if he gets thrust into that position this year, the Titans are in trouble. The Titans would also be in trouble if Logan Woodside was the backup, and they have to go with him for any extended period of time. So that's the first thing. Ryan Tannehill's the guy, and they need him to stay healthy. But when you look at it, and you say those two things about the backup, if that's the case, there's no reason to keep Woodside. Because the reason you have Woodside around is because he really knows the offense and he can come in and kind of game manage everything if Willis isn't ready. But I think what we saw, especially Saturday night, is Willis continuing to make improvement in how he understands the offense, how he operates the offense, and he brings a level of playmaking ability. And right now it's mostly with his legs, more than with the arm, though there were some really nice passes the other night, that Woodside just can't bring you. And so will Willis be able to step in and do everything and run the offense the way Ryan Tannehill can? No, I don't think so. And I don't think that is even an expectation that you can have for this season. But if the Titans have to go with someone, if you put in Willis, you have the potential to spring a guy for a 50-yard run. You have the potential to run the zone read, as we saw the other night, with a quarterback that is a significant running threat. And you have the ability to extend plays with those legs and then make a throw downfield like we saw in the third quarter to Racy McMath. That, to me, was all I needed to see to tell me that Malik Willis is ready to be the backup. And if that's the case, Logan Woodside is expendable. And if he makes it through waivers and the Titans can bring him back on the practice squad, great. You keep him in the room. The Titans like him. He does know the offense. It's great to have that third guy around. But if somebody else picks him up through waivers, that is not an enormous loss. But to me, when you're looking at a 53-man roster, you got to consider all those positions, and you got to think about the guys who are going to help you on game day, whether that be offense, defense, or special teams. And Woodside just doesn't do that for you. And so to me, my focus is bringing in those other guys, whether that's an extra offensive lineman or tight end or safety or cornerback. Those guys have the potential to help you on Sunday, and that's why I'd put my priority there if I'm John Robinson. Back to the phones, we say hello to Hector. Hector, good evening. Uh, how are you? Good. Thanks for the call. I'm sorry? Go ahead, Hector. You're on the air. Yeah, 
Okay, not totally sure what that was, but we need to take another break. So let's do that right here. Again, our phone lines are open, 737-7767. Sportsline continues right after this.